Hello regular viewer, loyal subscriber, welcome back to Battletech. These are the stories of the Hecaton Kyrez, the Hundred Handed, as we continue to prowl through the lower end of the inner sphere. Oh yes, cat, I know. Just time for you to wake up and stand on my keyboard, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Right, here the Argo, we're in uh, orbit around New Vandenberg, but we've run out of things to do here. And our main mission is a long way away, if we have a look at the navigation. Uh, thank you, Samira. Right, so we're up at the top here. Our priority mission is down here, and it's many jumps away. So we, before we leave this area of space, what I'd like to do is to pop over to Brisbane. Um, there are electronics, inner sphere level civilization, and although there is a plague, um, it is a rich world, and I think we might be able to uh, find some nice things in the shop hopefully um, before we head off to conduct our priority mission. So we've got to pay for this, we've got uh, five months left in the tank, 30 grand isn't going to break the bank. By your command. By your command. Frost gravity achieved. Ooh, my superiors, thank you for your willingness to take on challenging tasks making an invaluable contribution to the advancement of Capellan interests in this region. Hmm, not sure I want to be on your radar, really. As an inner sphere state, you're not particularly well reputed. Your actions against our interests are earning you a powerful enemy. Yes, well, I don't like Torians. You seem to be on the side of our, uh, our allies. Don't sit on the power button, cat. Oh dear. Right, carry on. Job's done, Commander. Okay, let's go back to Mac. Uh, oh, happy accidents. Darius opens the morning briefing with a scowl on his face. We picked up new supplies a few weeks ago. We've just now opening some of the crates of machine tools, and well, I can't believe this has happened again. But Yang practically explodes from his chair. You have more frozen triple F burger meat? <gasps> Do you know how hard this stuff is to come by in the periphery? Dr. Murad sighs. Please tell me the refrigeration is still operational. Don't worry, Doc. My team will take care of the goods. Yang fishes, flashes you a winning smell. What do you say, Commander? Burgers on the menu? Um, well, uh, give the meat to Yang. What's the worst that can happen? Well... Uh, of course, various diseases and illnesses, Let's, uh, but everybody loves a burger. Yang's eager face makes it a little harder to strike a stern tone, Chief. I'm going to give you this shipment, but this time I don't want to find half your technicians in Medbay. I want those things cooked. Well done. Later in the week, word spreads of the dinner that Yang threw for his med mech techs, complete with a fresh batch of engine room rust gut. Not everyone got a chance to partake. The persistent smell of barbecue triple F has increased refit productivity. Mac warriors are happy with the results. Because it smells of meat, they perform better. Check that. Well done, guys. Into the big bay. So, let's just rearrange these in uh, weight order. Uh, 55, 50. 45, 40. Right. So we've refitted the archer, but I'm not sure it's been done in a way that I like. Um, so we've got an LRM-20, an LRM-10, and a PPC with the missile resuite. Um, plenty of ammo. It's not heat efficient at all, mainly because of the PPC, but at least that's got something to fire rather than it runs out of ammo. Um, and it's all fitted out for long range. And how is it for armor? Durability is high. Okay, I have a thousand points of armor in there. Um, that's not looking too bad as a mech go. I quite like. Let's give it a run out on the next one. Um, what pattern should I load in? Let's have a look. Stripey, mainly yellow, mainly green. That's interesting. Don't know what this kind of splat is on the top there, but that looks pretty decent. Red cockpit. 
Yeah, it looks like someone spilled a bucket of um, red paint over the top. So I'll keep that one. Okay, with LRMs we're looking for good tactics. Reduces the um, short range penalty and gives us a bonus to indirect fire. So that's probably the way we're going to do it. Um, anything else? We've got the snub PPC and the heat bank in this, but it's heat efficiency it says it's really good but it keeps overheating so I'm not sure who to believe here um, Griffin dual large laser Griffin yeah don't like it Shadowhawks my versatile mech with the UAC 5 so I'll pop that at the top because that's kind of my favorite build the 1S the stun PPC is better than this one Wolverine, we've got a UAC-5, two tons of ammo and Inferno missiles. But we've just got the UAC-5. This has the UAC-5 and medium laser. We give the Wolverine a run out. It's got no jump jets. That uh, could be a problem, but um, 1100 armor. I might be able to trade some of that armor for um, jump jets profitably. Let's have a look. Can have up to five jump jets in there. Let's bring this down to a hundred and see where we're at. Uh, need to eat a bit more off. So let's take from the back. Let's take these down to fifty. Uh, that gives me a ton, which will give me two jump jets. And we are protecting the UAC-5, so... Can't put jump jets in the arm, that'd be silly. Right, put jump jets in the leg. Slightly less silly. Right, so we've got two jump points. I want to run Infernos, perhaps I just need a bigger mech for Infernos. Um, so let's just pop jump jets in. Um, and that will give us a couple of tons. Um, can't fit in any ballistics. We've got a support slot in the head, which is meh. Two tons for a missile slot. That's not good. It's already very heat efficient. We haven't got any missile or energy weapons. Put more ammo, but really, it's an extra weapon we're needing, isn't it? So, sorry about that. Several hours have passed since uh, I had to pause the recording there, um, but I'm back. Um, don't know what else to do with this. I've stuck an extra uh, ton of ammo in, but I'm not happy about it. But we'll bang that in anyway. I'll let you know when that's done. Thanks very much, and. Um, we got any other weapons in here that we need to swap out? Let's have a look what we got. So we've got leg mods here. Um, DFA leg mods. These don't weigh anything, do they? It's tonnage zero. Um, we've only got three jump jets. Three out of four. Um, how much UAC ammo there? And they hold eight rounds each, so this is 24 rounds, which means 12 rounds of fire with the UAC, which isn't a lot. Anyway, let's have a look at the weapons. Have we got a plus damage medium laser? No. So those are going to be fine, and we've only got a UAC 10, so that's not going to help with that build. Um, and that's the AC-20+, plus. the Vindy, let's just uh, revisit what we did with this, this was a long range bombardment mech, it had a plus, um, plus 5 damage PPC, it's a plus 10 damage PPC here, but is the Vindy the right chassis to put that on? Oh now this is interesting for the Wolverine didn't think about using a SRAM 2 because I never used a SRAM 2. That's a plus 4 damage SRAM 2, so that's going to be doing K 
considerable amount of damage per missile. Is that 24 damage if both hit? Plus stab damage as well. Not a lot of stab damage, admittedly. Well, worth thinking about. Um, we might as well swap this out for um, a plus damage PPC in. Um, still reasonably heat efficient. The plus damage LRM-10 is uh, a decent weapon. And 4 out of 4 jump jets and heat sinks. Might as well crit pad the... Um, Four days, so we're just tied, tidying stuff up. Really. Let's uh, refit the Panther. It's too slow, really. Let's uh, let's strip all of it out, max the armor, and um, what are we going to do with this piece? Four energy slots, one missile slot. Missile slot is in the center torso. So what have we got in here? We could put the Infernos in the Panther. It has no support weapons, so I can't combine that with Flamers. So I don't think this is the right platform. I think I'm just going to um, discard that and pop the Panther away. <coughs> strip all the equipment off because this is our scouting mech, the uh, fire starter and I'm very happy with its um, multi lasers the ballistic slots are pointless unless I want to put machine guns in for crit seeking might not be a bad thing actually so a small laser that is half a ton each but if we were to swap those for machine guns, the machine guns are half a ton each but I'd need to put aside some tonnage for um, the ammo it's zero tons and zero tons that's fine we'll leave that as it is for the moment really need some better crit seeking right so we've got a bit of work to do um, we've uh, and that's going to be fine. We're on our way to Brisbane. Let's go. We're just coming up. Happy New Year! Week 52 is the Christmas. Right, the Argo upgrade will be completed in two days, along with the financial report. Hey boss, we've just got a new financial report for you, Commander. Okay, we're down to four months running costs. We could reduce our running costs. It will reduce our morale by two, but um, we're still at maximum resolve anyway. So uh, I think we'll do that. That's kind of prudence, isn't it? Let's have a look at the uh, ship upgrades that are available. So let's look at something to keep the morale high. That's 225, runs at 680. We've got uh, 450, 1360, or well, the improved library. Well, let's put a gym in place. I think we're going to be okay with Roger that. that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Okay, thanks, Farrah. Let's go. I'll have the gymnasium in place by the time we uh, get to the destination. This is a long old way. It's the longest journey. It probably seems very long to me because I've just spent the last several hours disassembling beds and moving things around. <sighs> okay. Underfed. Darius mentions the ship's galley is low on provisions at the daily briefing. We need to make a supply run, but the question is when. Putting the crew on reduced rations could work in the short term if things are too tight. Everybody else at the briefing groans as they look at you. 
It's only 5,000 for heaven's sake. You send Darius out to resupply the next available opportunity. The grocery bill comes to a staggering 5,000 sea bills, but it's enough to feed the Argos crew very carefully for three months. Good. Right, and here we've arrived at Brisbane. It is Plague Planet. Network orders complete, boss. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. Thank you. Let's see what they've got in the shop. Right, we have two plus large lasers, plus accuracy, plus five damage. That's a decent one. 240. Mm, okay. Just make sure there are some contracts for us to make some money on. Let's see. Right. We have a few here. We have an ambush convoy. We've got a million sea bills base defense. And a battle. So we've got three missions there. So we've got some money. So let's go to the store. So there's that plus laser there. Let's have a look at the equipment. We've got a TTS for energy. We've already got one of those. Is that it? That's quite unsatisfying. Just grab half a machine gun ammo just in case New I want. Equipment available. And we'll get the uh, large laser plus damage. New weapon systems available. Nothing else worthwhile. That is disappointing. And um, let's go and take the battle, I think. Clean out mercs. We're currently trying to engage in long-term operations in this system, which runs counter to Davian interests. They've hired a well-regarded mercenary outfit to engage the Capellan Confederation operatives. The mercenaries have sent a single one-armed lance. I'd like you to counter that lance. All right. But if it's a one-armed lance, give me salvage. Uh, but if it's only a single lance, also give me lots of money. Right, how are we doing? It's a tundra, so fire um, flamers aren't necessary. Um, as a battle, we'll probably go with um, glitch, and we'll put glitch in the archer, shall we? Uh, glitch has very high tactical skill. We've got the PPC and the missile we sweep. We'll see how the archer plays. Um, with the two centurions and the griffin. Do we want the griffin? Yeah, I think he's going to be fine. Let's go. We're at three now, 225 tons. That's looking much healthier. Right, I don't like fighting other mercenaries, but that's the nature of the business. Why don't you like fighting them? What, what is it about? Are you just kind of putting yourself in their shoes? Well... Command interface initiated. We're facing professionals, which should expect well-armed and disciplined opposition. Picking up common symbols from this region, what is that? Is that its use? Can't zoom in. My mech identification has gone to pot. It's because I'm not wearing my glasses. Ah oh, well, we'll find out soon enough. Keep them on off balance. Alright. Yeah, okay, glitch. I'm up for that. Pop in. Where's the engagement gonna be? We've got some cover here. Rough ground on there. We've got a bit of cover there, so we'll probably aim to occupy this line here. So let's just get you up. Um, you are in a mech without jump jets, so we'll just put you straight up the middle. Um, Briarius as well. And 
So we've got a nice uh, valley here to run down, which should keep line of sight to a minimum across here. So let's sprint, glitch out to the left to provide our long range fire support. The enemy will have to cross a lot of open ground to um, get to them. That is a 70 tonner out there, so let's make it into woodlands. Actually, uh, Medusa, come this way. You can drop into the water, provide support for um, glitch. We'll put the centurions in the forest up here. Nice uh, sunrise or sunset. Hello. Right, we've got the Davians, got a 55 there, and 70. They're pulling back. We're going to reserve down. Come into my parlour, said the spider to the fly. see if we'll be able to get first shots in. Well, let's see who's up here. This is a 6R Wolverine. Oh, this is the one I saw, but I couldn't identify from range. Oh, it's the headlights I was having trouble with. So this is a classic Wolverine. Um, I'm not a big fan of this loadout. The AC-5 is too heavy, really, um, and it's kind of medium to long range. And these two just don't... The, the SRM-6 is okay, but uh, the single medium laser it doesn't provide much in the way of backup. Uh, not good shots on here. Let's see if we can make better use of the AC-10. Um, the AC-5 in here. Any ammo? The SRM-6 and the SRM-6 ammo is in the shoulder. Um, medium lasers in the head, of course. And the AC-5 has the range, so maybe we can take that out first. Now, let's take the SRM-6. It's got a 40% damage reduction now, I should have noticed that, and taking that into account. Swing, keep our left arm facing this direction mostly. And see if we can put an AC 20 through something. Right, we've opened him up, and so that will give an opportunity for our fire support. We can get eyes on here. What have we got? Two S Archer, LRM 15s, two SRM 4s, lots of short range punch. Um, decent armor as well. So, do we want to. He's got no cover. He is guarded though. Um, so, what we can do is multi target. And then. Um, we can just not fire the um, LRM-10. We'll put a PPC on the Archer and an LRM-20 on the Wolverine. So we took off the AC-5. Oh, we hit. That was good. I thought that missed. Um, Medusa can get shots on the uh, archer, but they are at... Oh, they're at decent shots, though. So, uh, have at it. It's a right-handed griffin. Yeah, shield arm taking that. That's good news. 
as predicted. Right, so Briarius has lost some um, maneuvering capability. So we want to keep jumping here. We can get into forest and still get a decent shot here. Left arm facing. We're at 85% chance to hit and it's a in the face kind of shot. It's fine. Okay, I've got a 65 on there. Stay in cover but move a little. I don't think there's any real need. Um, so we could just use the UAC, and that's an 80% shot. I prefer it to be a 95% shot. And where are we going to hit this thing? If we hit it there, it's just going to remove that, but there's nothing there. So if we take his other arm off, that removes the SRM-6, which is the next big threat. Okay, he's now got the medium laser in the head. Which is absolutely fab. So, uh, he's taken a bit of a smattering of damage. So let's move in here, I've got some decent shots on. We can stay in cover. And we can fire everything again. Another outfit. Yeah, well you might back off. Good job. Right. Waiting on you, Commander. Right, Glitch, how are you set? Just gonna move up here. Right, so we can multi fire. You might go down if we hit you with the LRM ten. Uh, you're difficult to hit with everything. You don't seem to have any cover. It's only hit this guy that's got cover, so I think I'd rather do this and that and hit him with the 10 and see if that knocks him over. Okay, it's half his weapon load strong. didn't quite do enough damage. I should have used the 20 on there. 65. Thunderbolt. The uh, jumpy version of Thunderbolt? Not sure. Could be a catapult. Yeah, see, so you've only got one medium laser now. How big do you feel? Right. That's hitting the shield arm. Let's come down here. We'll cape our left arm facing most. See what we've got here. It's a C1 catapult. 75 points to hit. I'm going to try a precision strike on this. See if we can take his head off. It's only a 4% chance. Cut line of sight here pretty effectively using these trees. Uh, I'm in the wrong place to shoot the griffin. The archer is looking dicey. 65 
I need to advance really. So if I put it down here, Rock then we'll see where we're at. We don't have much in the way of defence, but um, you know we do get shots on here. Not very good ones. You get the UAC. You get the lasers. If only to get his um, evasion Enjoy. pips down. Please, the PPC missed. Ooh, ace pilot. Right. Yeah. Right, we'll do so. Uh, let's give you some cooling help, shall we? Let's get real close to these guys and see what's what. Right, we're going to hit them in the sides. Got 110 in the middle there. Um, we might be able to take him out here, or at least knock him down. Seventy tons out of the game. Good to go. Okay, so where did we open the catapult up? Just in the arm. One missile there will take out half his long range firepower, so he'll be a preferred target. Actually that's just sixties, eighties. Sixties and eighties. So let's um he's in cover. So let's just put the LRM20 on him. And we'll just put the um, LRM10. I think we're going to do the split this way. Have fun. You get a headshot. Nice shot. Bye. I like of the way his headlights are shining through the water. Ooh. Yeah. Behemoth can take that kind of punishment. Alright, Briaris, I need you to start moving in uh, to take down the... Um, At least get eyes on him. Uh, Eighty percent chance. Some missiles might knock him over. Oh, did you turn your back to me? That is a bit of an error. It's right in the back. Two lasers in the back. Aye, aye. Oh, that is so tempting. Right, if we take that right towards our all of his weapons are gone. So let's precision shot it. Don't care about him really. There you go. He is now de-weaponed. Commander. So, assuming that um, So let's just advance on him now and um, pelt him. Target 
very satisfying. What am I gonna do with battle? What am I gonna do with you? Missed. You've not been very effective today, Mr. Wolverine. I'm sorry to say. Waiting for orders. No. On the threshold of overheating. Well, we can take the PPC off, maybe. And um, if we designate you as B, we'll put the 10 on B and the 20 on A. Knocked him down. Come on then. Let's be having you. I do love the look of the cat spot. It's just a... Fortunately, the um, to hit penalty after we've been knocked down saved me there from taking a battering. Right, well, my heating problems are negligible. I wonder if I can jump behind him here. I can. So, we're right in the back. Centre torso. He's got his mediums in there. We've got Aloram ammo left and right. Uh, but the right doesn't seem to be damaged. So what we're going to do is chop his right ear off. Have fun. Single laser. Ow. Yeah. Uh, I need this guy dead. Is that something you can do for me? Middle, middle, please. really enjoying this Griffin build. I think the snub PPC and the SRM6 combo for crit seeking and heavy short range damage is just super. Get so much positive feedback from the game. Yeah, that's a shot on. Looks like we can. Whoops, sorry, that was your telegraph pole. Maya culpa. Take these off so we get the breaching shot. I think I hit something good. What can I do for you? Um, well, let's just hit him with everything. Dam is damage resistance. Another knockdown. Maybe this will incapacitate him. No. Well, maybe if I take the other torso off, then uh, yeah. Do is limping away now. Always sad to see. You know, the last. Uh, the last throws of the dice. Rear arc again. Position strike again. Side torso again. Damn. Good work, Commander. I've signaled our employers. Their operations are safe. Mission successful. That was a cakewalk, really. Could have been nasty with that many LRMs if the LRM boats had hung back and allowed the. Uh, Well, they did try and push the Wolverine forward, but they didn't fire their LRMs in a focus pattern. So, yeah, that was uh, that was just 
bad on their part. Well done, everyone. Anything special? No. So it's just down to pieces of mechs. Well, we'll take some of the archer because we're getting close on that. And I do like the catapult. And let's just grab a bit of everything else. Thanks very much. Right, let's visit the barracks as Daria suggests and we'll have a look at the mech warriors in here. So what's up, Bach? Um, Behemoth has 9,100, so we could either finish off the tactics to get the indirect fire penalty down, or just boost uh, her shot making and get a better melee. I think we'll just make her more accurate with that UAC-10, that's always going to be a bonus. Training confirmed, Commander. Briarius has 9-3 left. So we could get Cold Shot Mastery, that is really tempting because that is such a super powerful skill with the AC-20. Mech Warrior training Thank you. Uh, Decker has 6-7. So we're going shots to hit. It's recoil penalty. Reduction, well we're going to head for um, Cold Shot Mastery with him as well because uh, that's complete. what back shooting is all about. Glitch. You're on 3 8, so you can't earn anything. Waiting for orders. Medusa, you're on 8 2. Get an extra health point. That might be okay. Plus 20% maximum sprint. That's very useful if you need to close range quickly. Uh, you haven't really got a minimum range. We don't really call shot with you, so we're going to keep your tactic skill um, low. It doesn't need to be higher. Training confirmed, Commander. And we have hired a new rookie, Receiving you. Ostrich. Um, we're not going to be buying any skills for her to keep her salary low, because um, you'll note that Commander, um, I'm receiving you. mech warriors like Kotus that we haven't taken out are still at rookie level salaries. Um, but are gaining experience in the simulators as they go so uh, if we get to roll them out we can do like we did Gaiji's just get to fours in everything and then buy you know the first levels of super skills for them um, we'll have to rename our stretch for next time uh, I'll get my list of uh, ancient Greek gods out but until then I hope you enjoyed that uh, next time we'll take on these final two contracts and then we'll head for the grave robbing mission where we hope to encounter some lost technology. Alright, see you then. Take care. Bye.